Hello everyone, so today Mark and I are down here at Netherland Inn. Well, what is this, the Holston River in Kingsport? Wow. We're here just walking. We're starting to come on walks together more. I think those are, yeah, lots of people come down here and fish. Those wild teasels are everywhere. Guys, these plants, look at this. Right here, they almost look like Oryngium. They're really cool looking, but they're like everywhere down here. You got this this boat here. There's some there's a information about it up here. Came down here to try to find some find some more mallard feathers. So let me show you right here. It says it's a model they used in the 1700s. And they'd go from Knoxville or somewhere to um, South Carolina. Up there is a historic hotel. So you can see this is the trail we're on. The Green Belt. Oh no, that's Daniel Boone Wilderness Trail. Oh, well, that's the Wilderness Road. There's some... Green duck food? No, I didn't have any. I thought about I I thought about earlier today I thought to myself I'm gonna grab some oatmeal to bring mm -hmm. and then I just completely forgot oh look it's your favorite tree right here over here shaggy bar kick <laughs> <that's a> <laughs> I know but I know you'd say that <laughs> so those are Mark's new shoes yeah we went and got we went and got some hiking shoes. I got some really nice Timberlands. They're waterproof. Come in really, really come in handy when I'm um, walking in the woods and stuff. Picture of Allison when she was like seven on this. Yeah, she was she was almost as almost as tall as this. She was like this, real small. Now she's almost as big as me. See all the geese out there. Chilling in the center of the river. Sometimes you see cranes out here. Okay, we've decided to go. There's another, uh, at the end of this trail, of course we're not gonna walk that long pretty long trail um, so we're gonna get in the car and we're gonna go to the end all the way to the end and there's like a more shadier area back there probably more chance to find feathers and we can see the what is it Roth the Rothford for, Rothford house yeah is that what it's called Rotherwood Mansion Rotherwood yeah it's supposedly haunted if you read um, Haunted stories about Tennessee. That's one that one will come up uh, So we're gonna go down to that region so This is where we are down here Some more giant houses over there, but this is more secluded part Very nice out All right, we have finally reached the other end Mark's gonna go sit down because he's tired um, but let me show you where I'm at. All right. So these are the mansions over here. And the haunted mansion, the Rotherwood mansion. Hopefully you can see it from here. You can kind of see the chimneys right there. Let me walk a little further. This looks like it kind of just goes out into nothing. Like it's a little nature area so yeah we're right in the middle of Kingsport so you can see right there there's a Netherlanden Road 
I guess people come down here and use this for fishing. See, there's the Rotherwood Mansion. Let me go to a spot where it's not so blinding bright. Oh, this place is so cool. It stinks. You see all the geese over there. Man, what a nice house. Oh. This is such a cool place. I'm going to have to take that whole walk back by myself to get the car to pick up Mark. So yeah, this just kind of goes out. Oh, look at that plant. That kind of looks like salvia. That is a salvia. Oh, that's beautiful. See, it's kind of just in the middle of the lake. So it looks like it's been broke up uh, over there. Man, this is cool. Oh, where did Mark go? So I'm gonna take some pictures real quick, guys. So there is, what was it called? The Rotherwood? Rother, Rotherwood Mansion. Rotherwood Mansion. So if you see, um, you can read haunted stories about Tennessee. That is the place they're talking about where the guy's daughter, so story, the story goes that the guy, the guy's daughter was in love with like a Cherokee or a Native American um, man, obviously forbidden love, you know how the story goes. And um, they couldn't be together and I guess he drowned, the, the dad had the guy, her lover drowned in this creek right here or this river and apparently she, she went and drowned herself in this river here. Drowned herself here in this river. And you can apparently still hear her ghost crying at night for her beloved, you know, sad story, beautiful home. And apparently you can, you can see her, um, her ghost walking up along the top of the, uh, top porch so yeah so we're gonna go get some dinner Mark's tired so I gotta walk all the way back and get the car